Hi there, thanks for checking this video. I'm Jackson Felden. Today I want to talk about a built-in ransomware protection available on all Windows 10. I have prepped a couple of demos to show. The first one, I will run a kind of ransomware attack and show how I can encrypt the files when that feature is not, um, you know, it's not enabled. And then I will enable that feature uh, manually and try to run the attack again. And then second time, the attack should really not work. Then I will move to Intune and show how to build from the scratch a configuration profile, basically to push that configuration to all your devices. And then finally, at the end, I will show one of my, let's say, Corp devices who will get the configuration from my Intune. Okay, let's move on and get things sorted. Okay, now let me take my virtual machines and show how it works. Okay, the first demo, I'm kind of pretending I'm an end user. Here's my device at home, a couple of interesting files I've been saving into my documents. And then someone in the house managed to download a ransomware. Okay, when I run this file in here, double click. Oh, really bad news. Okay, after running that uh, ransom uh, file, basically the bad news is, yeah, my files now should be all encrypted. And then in order to get the files back, I should contact this user. Don't try to send that email, okay, please. Um, okay, the kind of really bad news for me is if I go back now to my files into my document folders, as you can see, everything has been encrypted by that ransom attack. That's typically, you know, what's happened with anyone running those bad files. Okay, now let me just roll, uh, roll back the configuration and then I will enable basically the protection and then try to run it again. Okay, let's go again. Uh, that's great. By the way, I had a backup and I managed to get rid of all of those encrypted, encrypted files and then I recovered my, uh, my, my files again. Okay, now let me show how I can go to enable that ransom protection. If I just go here and then type uh, virus and thread protection, let me go into it. Now I need to go scroll down a little bit. Yeah, that's a place uh, to go, ransomware protection. If I have a good memory, this feature has been there since Windows 10, 17, 09, if I can remember. Okay, but you always can check on your, you know, your device. Okay, let me go into the manage ransom protection, click in there. And then the bad news for me is the feature is not enabled or was not enabled before when I run my first, you know, my first demo. Now let me turn on that feature. Just need to confirm uh, in here. Okay, that's from Microsoft. Okay, that's great. And the good thing is now if I go over the protected folders, just click in there. One more time, I need to confirm. Okay, that's good. Basically now, as you can see, all of those folders where everybody usually save, you know, uh, files into the documents and pictures and videos and so on. By default now, uh, after switching on, uh, after enabling, you know, that feature, everything is protected. Of course, if I want to add some additional folders to be protected, let me just click in here and then easily I could go and say, okay, let's go to C. And, you know, let's say here I have some of my PowerShell scripts and I want to make sure that is fully protected as well. Then I can just select and, you know, easy like that I can do. Of course, I'm showing now the manual configuration. In a few seconds, I will show how you can push that configuration via Intune. But the, the, the point I want to reach is after enabling this feature, now if I go back again, Okay, my files are in here. Now, just to see if my ransom attack will be able to encrypt my files again. Uh, let's see if I double click on this little file, double click in here. Yeah, kind of, you know, good news. Of course, I built that demo, you know, that ransom myself. The message is still, uh, you know, showing up in here. But the good news is it doesn't really look good uh, from the ransom attack. The system, I think, uh, you know, didn't work. If I click here on the corner and then I can see the kind of good news for me after changing that settings, I can, you know, explore in here and then get information or just confirm the information. The system was really not able to change my files. Okay, but to make sure, let me just get rid of all of those uh, windows. And yeah, really brilliant news. 
just by the time I change or enable that protection, as you can see, the files are here, you know, ready to go with no, let's say, with no encryption at all, thanks to that configuration. Anyway, that's the, the as I said, the manual configuration I managed to do. Now, moving forward, let me show where you can go basically to, to set up a configuration into Intune and make sure all the devices um, registered into Intune can get that configuration straight away. Okay, let's go. Let me just minimize for the moment. The next VM I want to use, let me minimize this one here and bring my second one. Okay, that uh, is a computer used by Diego. Okay, it's fully registered into Intune. I will show you in a few seconds. And let's say the files I want to protect, um, you know, besides the, the pictures and folders, uh, sorry, pictures and documents and so on, the additional folders I really need to protect are these guys here. Okay, I already created a data and then a couple of invoices in here. Uh, reports and then you know sales as well these are the very important files and i want to make sure they are protected in terms of um, if any application that is not a microsoft application try to get into those folders and make changes on the files i don't want that to happen okay to get that sorted let me switch back to my microsoft 365 admin center okay from here let me go over the endpoint manager. That's fine. Now, and then of course, I need to go straight into the, the configuration profiles. Before that, let me go to app, uh, sorry, not apps, I need to go to devices, and then uh, in devices, configuration profiles. Okay, that's the place I need to go. You know, I have a couple of profiles here ready to go, but I haven't done anything when it comes to the ransomware protection. Let me get started. Uh, to create a new profile, especially if you're new on Intune, just go over the create profile. Now there are a couple of options in here because I'm doing my labs using Windows 10 and this is a feature for Windows 10. Let me stick with it, Windows 10 and later. And in here I could go actually over the settings and then I need to call the options I want to configure. For this particular demo, for this particular procedure, it's better to go over templates in here. And then the one you need to select is the uh, endpoint protection. Okay, yeah, that's the one, okay, you need to select. Okay, and then you click on create. Now, whatever the name you want to add, let me just stick with it. Um, let's say ransomware protection for Windows 10. Yeah, let's keep like that. Okay, now click on next. Okay, now I have a couple of things to do. The one I really interesting now is the Microsoft Defender exploit guard. If I click in there, and then that's the place for me to go. Okay, controlled folder access. Okay, just go in there. There is a way as well to allow applications. You know, you might get a bit of a headache if you have some applications that actually needs to go into those folders and make some changes. After enabling the controlled folder access, most likely those applications, they won't work. Okay, just be careful. Make sure you fully tested those things on your own lab. And then this is why you can basically allow those uh, let's call trusted application to access the folder if you enable the controlled folder access. Okay, that's fine. Uh, for me now, the place I really need to uh, to go is to add the, 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 the besides besides the the built-in folders like pictures and and documents and so on. I really want to add in here. Oops, first I need to sorry here I, I need to enable. Um, yeah, I could enable straight away and start doing the configuration. Um, the other option for you as well would be for you to set as uh, audit only and then eventually, um, you know, uh, enabling audit, you can get a good understanding the system uh, won't block anything, but at least you can understand what are the applications connecting that particular folder. After understanding, having a kind of, you know, full picture uh, regarding all the applications, connecting and making changes on those files, and then you could go and basically push the button as uh, fully enabled. Okay, for me, if I can remember the folders, I'm talking about, uh, oops, uh, C and then data, 
and then invoices if i have a good memory okay that was the uh, one of them let me just copy and paste to buy a bit of time okay and then another one was reports if i can remember in another one was uh, sales yeah i think these are the the three uh, ones i have uh, you know ready ready to go okay and then as you can see here is the place where you go and add all the the additional folders you want to be fully protected by using this uh, interesting feature okay that's good now let me just go ahead and click on uh, next next time now the next page is for me to decide uh, who should be affected by this configuration uh, profile of course i would advise just to start a small first you know push to over a couple of kind of pilot uh, vms uh, of pilot devices make sure everything is fine and then you can always add users later this is exactly what i'm going to do now let me just click on add group and then at the moment my user diego belongs to a department called finance and then yeah in any other machine now uh, uh, used by users who belong to finance will be affected with that okay click on there okay that's good next i could add some additional rules as well but let me skip uh, next and then finally uh, create Anyway, now, of course, it's going to take a bit of time for this profile to be fully kind of deployed to all the VMs, uh, for all the devices affected by this configuration. In order to buy a bit of time, I can always go over devices and then go over my windows. The device, the device used by Diego is my Windows 10 07. And then just to buy a bit of time, let me kind of you know force a synchronization and then the kind of you know shrink a bit the waiting time okay let me click on there and so on okay now if i go back again to the devices and then go down over the configuration profile i can bet the configuration is not yet in place okay if i go over my ransom protection okay it's going to take a time now i can always check uh, here from device status anyway i will pause the video now for a second don't want you to uh, let's say waste your time as you can see the process has started already and then in a few minutes should be all sorted okay i will just pause the video now for for a second okay a few minutes have passed now let me go over the configuration again to see what is the deployment status at the moment let me go over my ransomware protection again in here yeah at the moment i haven't got yet the full confirmation in here but a better place to go is over the device status if i go in there yeah kind of look good good news from my device windows 10 07 used by diego to get a full picture i can always click over you know that device now if you look here on the top i'm let's say into my device 07 and then if i click again over the device configuration now i can see all the configuration applied to this device i've been you know pushing a bit locker configuration as well but for the moment let's focus on my ransomware protection if i click in here now is a full confirmation okay basically the the folder protection is enabled and i have added you know those three folders manually as well okay if i switch back to my device let me go back to my virtual machine and let me kind of you know double check from the end user a point of view okay this is my windows 7 device if i go over the virus and thread protection just click in there and then i'm looking for uh, ransomware protection and then if i click in here yeah good news and this is kind of you know sort of prove the configuration was not done manually and actually is coming from my incheon configuration yeah just for your information the user is still kind of you know able to go and see all the block uh, history eventually you know he if he or she is trying to run a couple of applications and the applications don't run you can see here and if i go back the user the end user is still have the option to basically add some folders and then as you can see all my three folders that have been uh added here okay successfully that's kind of you know the good news 
And that's pretty much it for today. Hopefully you managed to learn some new bits today. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe my channel. And hopefully I will see you next time. All the best. Thanks for watching.